Welcome to my Guitar Theory 101 Theory lesson and playing lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to construct and play a minor arpeggio. There's two ways of doing this, but I'm not going to give you options. I'm just going to give you one way to do it. If you'd like to know the second way of doing it after learning how to do it this way, drop in the comments and I might make another video on how to do it the second way. This way, we're gonna do it from the minor scale. So you need to know your natural minor scale. If you don't already know it, check out my videos and I have got a lesson somewhere in there on how to play the natural minor scale. You only need to know it up to the fifth note within the scale. So it's not a lot of notes, but you do also need to know the names of the notes on the neck or at least how to work out what the note name of each fret is right we're going to play this natural minor scale up to the fifth note now take out the second note and the fourth note and you're left with the first third and fifth note of the natural minor scale well guess what you've just played a minor arpeggio because they are the three notes that make a minor arpeggio the key is the first note that you play now if you work out what the note names are of each one i'm in the key of a so we have a c and then e if i play a combination of any a c and e anywhere on the neck i can span it as much or as little as i want that is an A minor arpeggio. As long as you have one occurrence of each of those three notes within there, you've got a minor arpeggio. Now I'm gonna extend it. So I'm gonna play about with the notes and see what we get. I'll start off with that first A, C and E that I had. Now there's an A here, so I'll play this next. Then there's an E here, so I'm going to slide to this. Then we got an A here, so I'll utilize this. There's a C here. And I'll end on this E here. So the full extended arpeggio looks like this. Sounds great. You do not have to finish or start on the root note. You could do it from the C. You could do it from the E. As long as there is one occurrence of the first, the third, and the fifth in there. Then once you get used to that, you can try it in different key positions. The shapes are always the same. It's literally just a case of knowing the names of the notes on the neck. So a quick recap of that lesson, the minor arpeggio is built from the first, third, and fifth note of the minor scale. You can play as many or as little of the notes as you want and extend it as much as you want, as long as there is one occurrence of each of the three of the notes. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel to learn more about the guitar and music theory with me. If you could like the video and any questions you've got at all or any lessons that you want to learn on the guitar, pop them in the comments below. In the meantime, keep on rocking and I'll catch you soon in another lesson.